So let's go over problem number four from AP Physics 1, exam 3. Problem four is interesting in many ways. I give you velocity versus time gap between one meter per second to negative one meter per second. Constant acceleration from zero second to 0.5 second. Right? And it moves with uh, constant acceleration from 0.5 second to one second. It's continuous moves with constant acceleration. Let's go, let's move to. Um, meter per second so let's say 2 comma 2 it continues moves with constant uh, constant acceleration uh, from one second to two second from two second to three second it moves with constant velocity from three second to four second again it moves with constant acceleration Notice that at t is equal to zero, object is at origin. At t is equal to what, object is back to origin. I did not make it so difficult. I said option one, one second. Option two, two second. Option three, three second. Option four, four second. Option five, one to two second option six two to three second option seven three to four second this is not exactly the order i gave you but these are the options you have to understand what really i ask you you have to understand the kinematics the area over here is, uh, let's see, the area over here, first find the area at 1 and then area at 2. Area at 1 is, area is half bh. So area is half, b is um, 0.5, h is negative 1. So area is uh, negative 1 over 4. So area 2 is, so, so the total area would be twice as this one so so area would be negative half so area here is negative half okay so how that going to help you to find the answer is the object return to origin between one to two seconds how that going to help you find out okay now from one to two second area is also half bh half b is 2 minus 1 is 1 h is 2 this area is 1 understand that this is negative half this one is negative half i'm going to write it inside so you will you you will you'll be able to visualize because this is as technical as it can get so this is negative half. This is a positive one. So positive half is positive half lies between one to two. If the whole thing is one, then positive half lies between one to two. Somewhere here. Not 1.5 exactly. Not 1.5. I don't want to mislead you. Not 1.5. This is 1.5 lies between one to two between one second to two second it doesn't have to lie between one point is it doesn't have to lie at 1.5 or 1.6 we don't know we're gonna just say t all right at t there must be area which is positive half so negative half and positive half cancel, the object is back to origin. So we're just going to say t. We're going to find that t. And that t is lies between 1 to 
this t is lies between 1 to 2 seconds. It could be 1 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, 1.5, 1.6, 1.7, 1.8, 1.9. It could be anything. So let's find it out. Um, let's exactly draw dt gap so you understand better. Negative 1.4, this is negative half. At 0.5 second, you are negative 1.4 away from the origin. At one second, you are negative half away from the origin. At some second t, right? At some second t, you are, uh, I don't know exactly what. At some second t, you are back to the, you are back to the, you are back to the origin. And this is your origin. So we're going to draw it like this. At some second t, you are back to the origin and you never back to the origin again. And that's how it should look like. So now we're going to find out what second is this one. Now you have some idea what's going on. Okay. Because at this one, you are back to origin. Okay. So this is half bh, area is half bh. So the area is, uh, what is the area already? We have area is uh, negative half is equal to half. What is b? b is time and h is velocity. What is velocity? Velocity is vf, uh, vf is equal to vi plus at. VI is zero over here, so we're just gonna write zero. Acceleration. What is the slope of this line? This is uh, one comma zero, and this is two comma two. So two minus zero, two minus one. So acceleration is two. Two t. But velocity be careful velocity is not zero we have to report that velocity is zero at t is equal to what time at one second velocity is zero so minus one okay so we're going to come back this is i'm not going to just write that yet the area is this area is this is area A2. This is A2. Area A2. We want to find this T. So we're not going to replace T by 2 because this T is not 2. This T is less than 2. So A2 is half T minus 1. Why T minus 1? Because you started from 1 second. And this is the slope. What is the slope? 2 t minus 1. So area 2 is equal to this 2, this 2 cancel, t minus 1, t minus 1. So area 2 is equal to t minus 1 is square. So t minus 1 is square. So area 1 has to be equal to area 2. Area 1 is negative half and area 2 is uh, t minus 1 is square. Okay. So what is the total area? Area is, you're going to send this one to the other side. So half So what is the area? Area 1 plus area 2 has to be equal to 0, right? So that are the uh, object back to origin. So area 1 is negative half. Area 2 is t minus 1 is squared is equal to 0. So t minus 1 is squared is equal to half. We're going to square root both sides. 
So t minus 1 is equal to the square root of half is 0 0.7. So t is equal to 1.7. So finally, we know this is 1.7. At 1.7, at 1.7, this is 0. At 1.7, so this is 1.7. So this is 1.7. But I didn't make it that complicated. But this is the real, real kinematics of this problem.